Good morning. It's Monday morning. We're getting ready to leave. I woke up with these beautiful, beautiful, juicy, lovely pimples. It's like one week my skin will be great and then the next week it's just a mess. Anyways, anybody else daylight savings in your ass? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'm finishing up. Let me turn this off. I'm finishing up getting. I'm finishing up getting ready because we are doing our first laser lipo session um, this morning. And so, yeah, we're gonna head out in about an hour. I got a couple of things from Amazon that I'm gonna open with you guys. And I've been saving. I'd be trying to save my packages so I can open them with y'all. And I'd be forgetting low key where I even be. <laughs> what do I got? I'm just using this Ilia skin tint. I use this as my SPF now. And then also because I've been having like little breakouts where I'll get like little blemishes here and there. I feel like it doesn't like cover them. Like it's not a full coverage. But it does help with like the redness. And it just like tones it down so it doesn't look as dramatic you know what i'm saying so it's like a tinted sunscreen basically but but you can get them in like all different shades and stuff anyways one of the estheticians that i want to put me on to that spf is applied that's all i'm gonna do i had already done my skin here i got on a wig y'all it's a glueless wig but it's not really glueless like i do have it glued down with this um if you don't focus this olive oil super hold wig grip spray i can wear it glueless but because it's a frontal i was like no nah. if it was a closure then i would have just like probably worn it without anything but you got to keep the lace down like on all of your head with frontal so i don't know how i'm feeling about it i don't know if i haven't adjusted to seeing myself with it on yet or what but i got it done on saturday um it's 22 inches i got it um cut and layered so i could have like little curtain bangs if i wanted but i've been mostly just wearing it with like no part because it has a middle part but i just i wasn't digging the middle part so i've just been like really wearing it flipped over as of late but i needed to do something with my hair and I told y'all I was like, glue this week was the next thing that I wanted to try. So I'm gonna keep this in probably until I get my braids at the end of the month. And then I'm gonna just be in braids for the rest of the summer. So I'm not even really tripping off of it. Like, it's cool for now. I'm gonna just leave it in. It's better than having to deal with my leave out, to be honest. And. I don't really care if the lace is lacing or not. It's really not. Like, the lace is really good. I just, I have not been sleeping with my hair wrapped up, tied down, nothing. And then I also, like, asked for no baby hairs, too, so. The hair is real good. So soft and silky. Anyways, child, so. This is how we look in today. I just wore a sweatshirt. And then I have on some unmatching sweatpants. Ugh. Camera ain't been focused this whole time. But yeah, we're getting ready to go downstairs, open these packages, see what we got. I'm gonna bring my waist trainer so that way I can waist train immediately after um, we get out of the laser light bulb. And then I'm also thinking about getting a gym membership just so I can start doing some cardio and like walking on the treadmill. So we might do that this week. I really wanna like get a gym membership at Equinox, but I just feel like for how much it costs, like I wanna utilize it very well. So I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed this week too, or like my two year touch up. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, we really just preparing for vacay. That's what I'm, that's what kind of mode I'm in right now. All right, let's get some perfume. I look you wanna go by my favorite place, Starbucks. We're gonna do number 40 in Scarlet Poppy. That's what we're on for now. But I mean, everything else that we got planned for this week is she not a lot to be honest. Me and Aaron are supposed to be going to the movies to see Creed this week. Hope, finally, hopefully tomorrow. We are gonna go today, but I had my laser lipo appointment. So I was like, no, we can just go tomorrow. 
during the day because we have to go while the kids are at school but shit besides that yeah this week is probably another chill week we got a lot of maintenance and stuff but besides that we big back and boom oh waist trainer we need a waist trainer waist trainer I don't know what size this one is. I have a couple of different size waist trainers, and I think this one is a large, but I think it's gonna be too. Yeah, it's too big. Too big. It's too small. It won't fit. Let me take this one. Okay, come in. Let's open up our packages. The first one that we have is from Warby. Do y'all already know what I'm going to say? Thank you to Warby for sponsoring today's video. I love Warby Parker. If you don't know what Warby is, it's basically a glasses company. And they make it like super easy and convenient for you to like buy your glasses, shop new glasses, because they'll send the glasses straight to your door. $3.99, you can pick like five pairs of glasses to try it on, and you can keep them for about five days, and then you just send them back, and then if you like them, Great. Then you can put your prescription in them. They also offer contacts. I love trying on the new glasses they have. This is the first pair. These are the Omar and they're in jet black. I feel like the big jet black frames are like what everybody's into these days, but I don't know. And I can't really see myself in the viewfinder. They look like this so close. And then this next pair is similar. It's also a black pair, but it's not as straight across on the top. This is the Wilson. What do we think about these? I feel like these are cute. I don't know what my glasses vibe is. I haven't worn the glasses in so long. And then the last one are pink, which I used to have a pair like this, and I lost them, but they were so stinking cute. These are the, the Wetly Medium Rose Crystal. Are these cute? I can't see myself. I'm trying to move over here in front of the sun so y'all can really see what I'm talking about. They look like up close. Like you can't really tell if they're pink, but it's like a subtle, a subtle pink. I don't know, let me look in the mirror. I think I really like these. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams, and you can shop with them online or in-store. Warby is super affordable with glasses starting at only $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, and progressives. Something really cool that Warby offers is their free at-home try-on kit. So basically what you do is you'll go onto Warby Parker's website and you can take a quiz and Warby will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. You order five pairs of glasses and then try them for five days. There's no obligation to buy, it ships free, and includes a prepaid return label, and you can try taking the quiz today to find a pair that is perfect for you. If you're interested in trying Warby Parker's free home try-on program, order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy, ships free, includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at Warby Parker backslash McKenna. Thank you again to Warby for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's get into the next couple of packages we got. I think one of these, two packages are from Amazon and then two are PR. This one is from Milk Makeup. So let's see what they said. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Like, it's dirty, but I've been trying to get with the bags. Oh, it's in a little bag, okay. Oh, we got a couple of goodies. Okay, so this is their grip primer adhesive. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like the e.l.f. one that I have. The e.l.f. grip putty primer. I'm just trying to see what the texture is. Yeah. I wonder if it's gonna get sticky. Okay. What is this? Long wear eyeliner. Hmm. In the color outer space. Cute. This 
This is lip and cheek shimmer color. This is in the color Quickie. You can put it on your lips or your cheek. Ooh, it's like a purplish color. It says sheer. It's actually really light. Let me put my hair up. I think I like, I just, I like my hair when it's up better. In a little claw clip. It's giving like blushed lips. Like if I got my lips blushed a little bit. I don't know. It's not, it's not bad. I think I'm gonna like this color better. This color is work. And it looks like it's a little bit more rosy. Let's try this one. I have been trying to find a blush though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is more like a softer corally color. And we've got clear brow gel. It's funny because I just ordered some brow gel. And I need to slick my brows up anyway, so. I'll probably use that. This one is mascara. Ooh, this container is like super heavy. It's like metal. Ooh, I like this brush. Only thing I used to ever be super into was mascara. Did I even put it on my eyelash? So mascara, I needed a little new mascara. And then the last thing is their, their Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. Cleansing balms are getting super popular, which I love. Because I actually think they work really nice for melting your makeup off your face. Okay, that's everything that we got from Milk. This next box is from Billy, which I have been enjoying their razor a lot lately. And I love that it comes with like, like a little thing you can use to like hold it in the shower. It's so cute. It's definitely a vibe. What did they send? They sent me over their shower product. So this is the Dry By Body Lotion. I was wondering if it had a fragrance to it. Oh, it actually does have a fragrance. It says it's white grape seed with shea butter. It actually smells, it actually smells really good. It's got a scent that I feel like is familiar, but I don't know exactly what it's reminding me of, but it smells good. And they also sent me their creamy gel body wash. It's in the scent fresh citrus and pink pepper. Okay, they smell this, they smell, they're like the same type of scent. It smells good, it's very citrusy. It's definitely giving like a spring summertime. I'll have to put those in my shower and try them out. They also sent a body buffer, which is a pre-shave exfoliator, but it's in a bar of soap, I guess. Hmm. Prep skin for a close shave, exfoliates with the hobo butters and helps with ingrowns. Massage into wet skin and circular motions, rinse well, then get shaving. Interesting. I wonder if you, when you get it wet, if it's like a scrubby texture, but it looks like this up close. It's cute. I like Billy's colors. Let's get into Amazon, which is what I ordered. Shout out to the girls on TikTok because they really did their big ones on this. Okay, y'all know I love ashwagandha, maca, and fenugreek. And look, they have this on Amazon and it's like an all-in-one. And I love that because... It's giving, I don't have to take multiple vitamins, which I love that for me. So it has like 5,000 um, milligrams of ashwagandha, 2,000 of maca, and then 3,000 of fenugreek. But overall, it's like a 17 in one. This is what I was looking for. We got what you looking for. What you looking for. <laughs> This is the NYX brow gel that I got. It's like a tinted brow gel. And I wanted to see. Ooh, the brush on here is interesting. I got it in like a, not a super dark brown color. I should probably do this in the bathroom. Hold on, hold on. I feel like we don't got all dolled up. Okay, so this eyebrow gel, the tinted one, it definitely just gives it more of like that. Oh, it says thickening on there. Yeah, it gives it like more of a bushy eyebrow look, which I actually don't mind. I should probably do the other one, but. 
anyways, I just want to try it out really fast and see. But I got this off of Amazon, super inexpensive. Somebody on TikTok influenced me to get that. But all right, the last thing that I got from Amazon was just these clear acrylic dividers for the closet. Because I don't really have any specific place where I put my purses out. I saw, I think Kara actually on Instagram, and she had these little things to go in her closet to divide her bags, and she put them in between there, so I'm going to put my bags in between these little acrylic dividers, I guess. I think I got a six pack, so what time is it? We could look you go do it right now. I don't really need to leave the house in like 25 minutes. All right, let's go upstairs and we can put these little shelves up and put my purses in between the shelves before we leave. All right, I think I'm gonna put the bags up here on this top shelf, even though I can't reach them up there, but mm -hmm. I feel like this would be the best. Place. My other side of my closet is like a catch-all. Like I just have like random stuff over there. So, oh, I also, I'm gonna do, oh, they're not gonna fit. This is too, is it too thick? Oh, freak. Dang. That sucks ass. All the shelves are, are that thick too. Like it's just not gonna work. Oh. That sucks, but because then it'll look all ugly. And if I push it anymore, it's just gonna break. Ugh, that sucks. Ass. Well, dang, man. That is so disappointing. Okay, well, moral of the story, they're supposed to go like that, and then you just put your bags in between them. So that's what I was going for. But apparently, it's not gonna be my look today. I think I'm gonna keep them just because I feel like I could use them for somewhere else, like if we moved or something. I still like the idea of them. But okay. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna do my hygiene empties with you guys from this last, well, I guess it is March now, so from February. And then I also was thinking maybe I could share with you guys like things that I didn't empty because I didn't end up like finishing or liking. So I have one of those in here as well. I'm trying to remember because I have all of my empties from last month still right here too. So I didn't know. I think I already shared that with you guys. Okay, so some of these are going to be pr pretty obvious because if you watch my vlogs then you know, you know. But the Necessaire Body Serum, I emptied like three of these and it's their Hyaluronic Acid Body Serum. I use this every single day, especially if you have like super dry skin. It's like amazing. I like used it all up, but I put it on um, like right after I got out of the shower at nighttime and I use it during the day too, but I spend more time focusing on my body care like at night and stuff, but I'll like put it on and then I'll go in with like a thicker moisturizer on top of it. Really helps, especially when I get those like dry or like eczema spots um, on my like arms and stuff. So love it, just kiss. And then Gypsy Water. I talked about this in one of my other vlogs because I just purchased a new one, but it's almost gone. So I'm gonna use the rest of this um, to take with me for like traveling and stuff. But this is one of my absolute all time like favorite perfumes. It just smells clean and fresh. So if, like. You're one of those girls who doesn't really necessarily like to smell like overly sweet or just like you know a lot of perfumes have like musky undertones or like peppery and they just like have all different flavors and sorts but if you just like something super simple super clean that smells really good the gypsy water is gonna do it every time next thing that i emptied out is this loom body wash and this one is in the pink peony which i had got to go with like my melrose scented shower routine but i love loom in general their body washes just help to eliminate body odor their ph balance and they promote healthy skin so can't go wrong with loom only thing that i wish about loom is that it was like more easily accessible they sell the deodorants and stuff in target now but they don't have the body washes anywhere besides their website and then sometimes you can catch them on Amazon. I'll link it from Amazon if you want to try it out. 
But yeah, that's only that's my only complaint about it. And then you know I emptied this out for sure. This is the Melrose Way body scrub. Love, 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 love this. It smells amazing. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a break for a minute and switch up and do my other little routines. But I just so far the the Way Melrose that's like one of my top favorites. And then this I also emptied out is this number 68 Cherryosa by Sol de Janeiro. The notes in here are jasmine, pink dragon fruit, and dragon rose. It's, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Something that I didn't finish that I started was this Caudalie. Is it Caudalie? I don't I knew how to pronounce it, but then I think I forgot. But anyways, this is their Vino Perfect Serum. It's supposed to be like a like vitamin C alternative. And I feel like I liked it when I first started using it at first. And maybe I can pick it back up and start using it again. But y'all can see like I kind of shook the bottle. But if you saw it at first, like it's all the way down here. So I used a lot of it, but I just didn't know if it was like, I don't know if it was this or something else that started breaking my skin out when I was using it. But I did stop using it. The first couple of times that I used it, I was like, okay, I really like it. But then I feel like it was kind of one of those things that was like, my skin got used to it. I might give it another try. Yeah, if you can see, like, I don't know how well y'all can see, but it's like right there. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. I feel like it has really good reviews, which is why I picked it up. And people say, like, if you keep using it consistently, it really works. That was my one other product that I had that I was like, okay, yeah, I don't really know. But this week we're getting in some new vacation outfits i think i'm gonna end up trying on all my stuff in this vlog too because y'all know we're getting ready to go out of town at the end of this month so i've been ordering like outfits and stuff but dossier also sent me over a whole bunch of perfumes and i haven't gotten a chance to smell them so i have like five more minutes before i need to leave one of the ones they sent me i already knew off rip was like giving dupe for baccarat but it actually smelled really really good like i don't know i'm usually not a big fan of baccarat but the way they had this one smelling smelled really good this one is the floral honeysuckle and they're all supposed to be kind of like like dupes of like our favorite name brand perfumes and stuff so you can look on the website and search them and i'll tell you what they remind you of i don't want to spray it on myself because i'm gonna smell like a whole bunch of different stuff i need to get some sampling papers this one is floral honeysuckle I don't, I don't know if I really like that one. I had opened like two of the boxes. This one is Woody Sandalwood. And I think also with Dossier, you can send them back to, yeah, your order arrived. Now it's time to test out your new perfume. Do you like it? Do you want it feels on your skin? No. If you return it, then you get your money back, which I feel like is also really nice because uh, this is Le Labo Sental the woody sensual and it smells exactly like it another dupe for the Le Labo sensual is also the um Crimo brand they make a dupe for it you can get it at Target I think I've talked about it before in one of my vlogs but this smells like Le Labo sensual I feel like that's more of like a laundry-esque scent like a lot of people like it but I just don't know if I, if I would wear that every day as like my perfume but I think it's a lovely smell for like linens and stuff like that and then I also keep it in the boys room so they can use it like as their cologne my kids be smelling I think I'm gonna do an updated like family morning routine. Let me guys, let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing that, and then I can like show you guys like what hygiene products the boys use because I feel like I get a lot of comments about that. Um, but yeah, anyways. So the next one is uh, Ambery Vanilla. This is Valentino. Um, Born in Roma. That's exactly what it smells like. I like that. Okay, Jossie, yeah! That like, I know what these fragrances are supposed to be based off of like just smelling them. Cause nowhere on here does it say like, that's what the perfume is. But this one is Floral Marshmallow. This is Pink Sugar. So if you guys saw that Pink Sugar, perfume that got like that it kind of low-key went viral I feel like at the end of last year you can get it off of Amazon I'm personally not a big fan of it everybody says like it smells really good I just think that everything is like 
personal preference. So when you're trying out fragrances and stuff, I feel like it's always a good idea to go with like something that's like cheaper or sample them on like Scentbird or just like anything like that or go smell them in person because I feel like everybody's just opinion is different. But I think it would be cute maybe on like a very, very, very young, young girl. Like I'm talking like five, six. It reminds me of like Barbie, like what a Barbie doll would smell like when you're a little kid. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not a huge fan, but I didn't know what that was. This is Ambery Saffron. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure this is the Baccarat one. So, let's see what this one is. Uh, this is Gucci Guilty. The Germain White Flowers. That's definitely Gucci Guilty. That's crazy. I feel like I know something. I could be lying, but that's what I smell in all in all of these. Okay, let's get ready to go. I need a tinkle, and then I'll meet y'all in the car. I need to go put in my map, so I want to say it's only like 15 minutes, 15 or 10 minutes. I wish I had a better car mount. I've been looking on Amazon to see if I can find something. Something better than down here. <laughs> but okay, I just left my appointment and it took a little bit longer than I thought it was, but that's because I just had like one girl in there, but she was so, so, so sweet, you guys. Like she was so nice. Let me make sure I'm going the right way, okay? home i'm headed home let me get into it and tell y'all like what's tea when we get back to the house i'm back we're gonna make a salad and i'm gonna talk to you guys or tell y'all about missing if you don't know about laser life she gave me a tea that she said i should drink when i got home Ooh, and they have punch cards 10 punches equals we don't know, but I'm going to keep my punch card because I'll be going back. I already booked my next appointment. But I'm going to make myself a tea and eat a salad. So basically, she was like, this is what I look like now. I think I should have drawn my belly before I left. I didn't look at my before and after pictures, but I know it's going to take more than one session to just be like completely snatched. She said usually it takes about four sessions. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep on booking like and going every week for the next four weeks. I'm trying to put this damn lotion on. This one's too tight. I have like a couple different ones. Ugh. I can't get it on. It's upside down. My hoodie is getting in the way. It's getting in my way. But anyways, yeah, I'm probably going to go every... She said once a week. I was thinking like multiple times a week because I know you can go multiple times a week. But she was like, just give your body some time to like process everything. And so she was like, don't work out for 24 hours. So I'll probably work out like Tuesday, Thursday. But yeah, she said waist trained. She said no exercise for 24 hours, which I never heard that one before. But I'm like, okay. <sighs> I should really like wear my Baja all the time. Cause I do have an actual like Baja. Don't wear it all the time. But 
waist trainer on. You're supposed to drink like up to a gallon of water. I'm probably gonna drink like two liters. I'm pretty sure the Stanleys are one liter, if I'm not making that up. Yeah, 40 ounces. So make sure I drink at least two or three of these. I'm gonna do the tea. What else did she say? Yeah, but she said like four sessions. And then I might do lipo shots. But I need to do some more research on it. I hope this is not gonna make me like SHIT on myself, but it probably is. Ugh, yikes. Anyways. And I might do lipo shots. They're out of stock for the lipo shots. And I feel like I need to do more research because I don't know actually what's in the shots. Like I know what the shots do and like they're very effective, but I just didn't know like if I want to put it in my body, like I need to do more research on what's actually in them before I do that. I'm going to do my stomach first and then I'm probably going to work on my legs next just because I have like a lot of cellulite and stuff there. So you can do like laser lipo on your thighs or like like wood therapy to like in palpitation to like break up the, you know, all the fat pockets on the back of your legs and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that next too, but I'm going to do my stomach first. Just me eating a poop for me. <clears throat> I don't even want to eat a salad. I have a question. I feel like I've asked y'all this question a lot before, but I've been getting a lot of mixed opinions in the comments lately. Would y'all rather see multiple vlogs a week that are like an hour long? Or like right at an hour? Or one weekly vlog that's like long? Like two hours or hour, you know, plus. Because I don't know. Y'all give me so many mixed vibes. Mm, you know what I really want to try? Maybe we'll try it tomorrow or something. I really want to get the ju the new Chipotle quesadillas that Keith was talking about. If y'all know what I'm talking about from TikTok. I think I'm going to make some macaroni. see tea bubble up like that before oh that must be some shit i don't know if i want to drink that i'm gonna maybe have to wait till i get back home so i still gotta pick the kids up from school <laughs> and i'm not trying to be shit my brains out oh i do have some leftover chicken nuggets from the kids this weekend i think i'm gonna warm up leftover chick-fil-a and then i got all this freaking I made like a Thanksgiving meal last night. Got my cabbage and pot roast. It was so good. But honestly, like we're not gonna eat this all, like this whole pan of macaroni and cheese. I've also been thinking about like, I might like break up the vlog so we can get two vlogs a week that are like an hour long. So like the beginning of the week and then chop it and then the end of the week. I just wanna upload more frequently. I'll tell you, this is fire. I'm gonna make it with y'all. I mean, I can link the TikTok recipes that I looked at, but what I like to do is I just like to look at multiple people's TikTok recipes and then I kind of like mesh them together and like make one of like my own. So I know kind of like how I like my food. And so I just take little bits and pieces of people's recipes and then like make my own thing. My friend is delicious. I'm gonna try and drink this tea soon before I go. Just said the goal is to go to the bathroom, so. Cheers.
skincare headband. I'm sick about this. But we just finished, well not finished, the movie's still playing, but Carmela and Carson fell asleep. Carter's finishing the movie. I just snuck away so I can shower before it gets any later. I'm about to put a face mask on my face. This is the one that I like to use periodically throughout the week. It's the vitamin C clay mask with turmeric aloe vera and I'm still put it on while I take a quick shower really fast. So I'm still using my Tatcha. So I don't really know if I did my skincare with y'all last week or not, but anyways, it's like I'd be having help and then it's not as bad though. Like I can't complain. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Face mask. I can't wait till the day I don't have no more breakups. I ended up finished drinking that tea from earlier that she was telling me that I should drink. And I don't have the bubble guts yet, so <laughs> I feel like that's a good sign. But I do need to finish my water. I've refilled my cup once since I've been home, so I need to drink like low key another like one and a half before I go to sleep. But I'm also trying to go to bed early because Staying up late is just not the vibe anymore. And since Aaron's not gonna be here till later because he's finishing up getting a tattoo, I figure I can probably get some sleep early. I just really gotta figure out what my schedule is. I just can't get into a good schedule or routine. And I feel like a broken record because I say that constantly 24 seven, but like, I don't know what it is. Even with the kids back in school, I just feel like because I picked them up so early from school, it's like, okay, I still only have this amount of time to just do everything that I need to do. And then it's like, the day is over when the kids come home from school. Like, is this motherhood with three kids? I don't know. I feel like with just two, it wasn't this hard. It's just not enough hours in the day. Day, like, mm, we're just vibing. We're just, just vibing. Okay, we're taking it day by day. Anyways, child, I'm about to hop in the shower. I got some new stuff in the shower, you wanna see? Look, let's see what goodies we have in here. Some of the stuff is the same stuff that I showed y'all last week, but I got this new PMD brush. And I used to have one of these, and I lost it when we moved here. And now I got the pink one, and I'm so excited about it. And I'm hoping that I can use this part to like massage my legs and help like break up the cellulite and stuff. I don't know. I don't actually know what this part does. You can like detach this part though on the back. And it comes with like other little heads and stuff you can like clip on here. Like they have like a bucking one for like your feet and stuff like that. And then they also have a loofa side that you can get as an attachment for this. So I like these. I like I like this to like really just like scrub my back and stuff like that. Look, and now they have like a little holder. Love it. Love it. My Billy Razor has been in here. I've been really liking my Billy Razor, especially because it has this right here. I just. Yeah, they did that. And then I have their shaving cream. I just think that their little products are so cute. But this is what I'm using right now, which I showed y'all in last week's vlog, so. All right, so I'm gonna get in. nighttime see look all these are empty and i tell y'all i went through like 30 bottles this i'm just trying to get every last drop because this ain't cheap but it's good <laughs> uh okay so my skin is kind of like still damp i could dry it a little bit more but putting hyaluronic acid on damp skin is obviously good because then it kind of just like locks in hydration i don't know if that's true but that's what the girls we say right i always use my necessary body serum first and when I say always, I mean like three times a week because that's how often I probably remember to put lotion on my body. It's just crazy. Like, <laughs> it's just an energy problem, honestly. Like, it's not like I don't want to do all the things, which I feel like is the thing for everybody. Like, we all want to be our best selves. Like, I, you know what I mean? For the most part, I feel like I hope for everybody. But it's just like an energy thing. Like, what? Why are we so drained? Uh, today I'm actually feeling good. Like, I'm not feeling super drained because I feel like... The dinner was already ready. I already just had to like heat it up. The kids ate. We've been doing our showers like when they come home from school. If we don't have anything else to do, like I just have them like get in the shower really fast. That's just to like wash all of the school germs and the day off. 
Um, and I feel like doing bath time before dinner kind of makes it a little bit easier because like, I don't know. I don't know. I've been just doing it that way lately and I feel like I like that better. And then do their lotion and stuff, then we do dinner, and then they come back upstairs, brush our teeth, and then we can do whatever activity, read a book, uh, watch a movie before we go to bed. Like, And since it was still kind of early, since they didn't play a lot outside, we just watched Ant-Man. And yeah, so that's kind of how the night went with the kids, which that's a cool little nighttime routine for me because then I still have time to like, get myself ready and I'm not super exhausted. Take this off. Put a bra on. Okay, that was a successful nighttime body care routine. I did my lotion and my serum. I'm gonna go put him to bed and then um, we'll finish up with my skincare. supposed to be going to the movies today at 12 to see Creed and I missed my workout last week and I already know I got a message from my coach but I haven't opened it up yet because <clears throat> she probably like cursing me out like girl um get your life together I'm gonna open her message now today even though I don't want to hey McKenna happy Monday starting this week off with a body flow yoga I want this to be just a way to get moving um, move your muscles, focus on a little bit of flexibility, mobility. Child. Anyways, how are you? My back. 
Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, baby. I feel skinnier this morning, but I don't feel like I look it. I feel like I look more pudgy. Whenever you put your pants down, like, where they're supposed to go versus high-waisted makes it such a huge difference. <laughs> okay, well, I think I decided I'm gonna just do my little get ready with me inside this vlog, and I'm gonna start it now because I need to take a shower, um, and it's already nine o'clock, so we're gonna get ready to leave here at 11.30, so I'm gonna be kind of like getting ready, and then, well, maybe, let me do my Bible study first, then I'll get ready. Because normally I take a shower and then I do my Bible. But I'm going to just today, since I got to get ready anyways, by the time I'm probably done getting ready, it'll be time to leave to go to the movies. So. so let's go read our Bible real quick and then we'll come back in here. All right, let's see what we got today. This is the Bible app that I use. It's just the Holy Bible Bible app. My nose is itchy, y'all. Sorry. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and me and with all your strength. What is the most important thing we can do today? My name is Hosanna Wong. I'm an author and preacher. And today's verse is an important reminder to us. Shower time. shower head because like can you see it's like red uh, I don't know why they're so irritated because I haven't been taking as many baths because I feel like that's what was drying my skin out but I'm still like I don't know I think it's just I'm gonna get a new shower head I've been seeing this Instagram ad for the shower head that's like so popular right now it's like called the jewel or some jewel or something I don't know but I'm about to get it because they got it in black it's aesthetically pleasing and it filters your water after all the dry skin issues I've been having, I'm like sold at this point. Because I know my water like system is not good, but child. Alright. Only thing that's really gonna save my skin is this necessary hyaluronic acid serum. Like I swear. So I'm going to put that on all over my bye yeah 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 you know what's also really good if you don't want to spend the money on the Necessary Body Serum? Neutrogena makes one. It's in a blue bottle and it's called Hydra Boost. And you can get it for like $10 to $14. I know the price is different everywhere, but <sighs> it's basically the same thing as this. We're smelling good. We're smelling real good. Those products definitely last out of the shower because I can smell it all over me right now. Gotta get all moisturized up. I think I'm gonna start back using papaya soap. In the shower so i can like really work on like brightening up my skin for the summer i will key just want to wear something comfy because it's the movies and it's cold outside again it's like 60 degrees outside so i'm thinking about sweatpants these are the wild fable ones i have like a thousand pair of gray sweatpants which ones are these these are also the wild fable i ended up getting a second pair um, so I think I'm just going to go with those and then I'm going to wear a Skims bodysuit underneath it. Looks like this. And then I'll probably just throw on a little jacket over top of it. I don't have any gray jackets. I do have a black jacket, however. 
probably gonna wear my track runners. They are absolutely filthy. But that's why I love them because they already have like a dirty look. So whenever they're dirty, it's not like horrible. Then I was thinking about taking my big tote bag so I could sneak some snacks in the movie. Because we went there before and the food is okay, but like, you know, a girl still be wanting a Skittle. You know, a little something, but I don't know if we're gonna have time to go by the store before we go, but if not, I'm probably just gonna take my Balenciaga bag. I love this bag to death. This is probably still like my favorite bag because you can wear it as a crossbody, but it's just got that very casual, like sporty, edgy vibe. And the leather is, um, like already worn like it came you know like with this like worn look which is perfect for me for my lotion i'm going in with the matching one to the routine we did in the shower this is again from sol de janeiro i'll link everything for you guys but <clears throat> smells good my man's really likes this fragrance so i figure i'll put it on I would say my favorite still, I think I'll do like a ranking of all my favorite routines once I kind of like do some more. I have some more already set up, but y'all know I like to use my products until they run out first before I just start something new. So I'm going to finish this little routine out that we have here first, but I think I still like the way Melrose better. I mean, it's just two different kind of vibes. Like that one is a very intense, like feminine, girly, you can really just, I don't know, it just smells different but good and then this is more like soft vanilla just kind of you know going back to the basics this lotion be hard to spread though that's the only thing like it's thick 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 it's gotta like melt it down in your hands and then you see like before you put it on and then sometimes like I re-dip it because I'm only putting this much on my hand. Because I remember somebody in the comment last time was like, you said you only need a little bit, but you keep using more. But I'm like, I'm only using, I'm starting off with a little bit because like if I use too much, then it's too much, you know? So I just start with a little and then work it back in. Somebody said this was a good combo also. The Valentino mixed with this. I have to re-look at the notes for the Valentino because... I don't quite remember. Nah. I don't think that that's as good of a match as the Scarlet Poppy. I think the Scarlet Poppy is definitely better, a better pair. So with that being said, this is number 40. I got a question too the other day and somebody was like, I feel like my perfume never lasts on my skin. So my suggestion would be spray it on your um, clothes if like you feel like fragrance doesn't last on your skin as much. Oh, it's this right here does it. Ah! I love this garlic coffee. This is what the bodysuit looks like. I should have put it on first before the pants. The pants on top. It's got a thong bottom too, which I like, so I don't have to like worry about having a granny panty line this is what the full little outfit looks like it's just casual i feel like it's movie appropriate i could probably match a better for our sweatpants but like i said laundry take this butt off bing, bing, bong, bong. this is the deodorant i'm gonna use i've been back using the dove dry spray just because it's been super i don't know convenient i'm just like just throw it on really fast. Call it a day. The girls that know, know what I'm about to say. Ooh, I should put some glycolic acid underneath my armpits before I put my deodorant on. Especially because I just shaved. Is it too late to go backwards? Let's just do it. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it. Get you some of this if also you need to lighten your armpits before summer because that will also help. Oh, it's a little stingy because I just shaved. The glycolic acid is strong. I don't know how it's going. I'm just going to keep the fit. It's fine. 
I think y'all are gonna be really excited to see me dress up for vacations and stuff. So know that I am getting my fashionable skills up. Okay. But anyways, I'm going in with the witch hazel. You know, you know. Just make sure the booty stay fresh. I'm also gonna go in with the Loom, the unscented bar, in between my cheeks as my booty deodorant. I love the Loom. I love the sweet cookie one and the watermelon scent. Gotta keep your booty fresh at all times, you feel me? I'm also just gonna moisturize my downstairs area with coconut oil. You can get oils that are specifically made for your coochie cat, but also coconut oil is never gonna do you wrong. And so, yeah, just put a little bit in my hand, melt it down. I should have did this before I put my clothes on. I just kind of did it out of order today and forgot, but. For shimmer and sparkle, I have a couple of different things. This is the one I'm gonna use Summer Fridays because it has like the most faint scent and I don't wanna like knock off all the other fragrances that I have going on or like clash. Okay, I'm gonna put this all over my chest. Construction does not want me to be great and I'm pretty sure my toddler stole my skincare headband But we're about to lay down this wig really quickly. So This is what he told me to use to like lay down any any little pieces and Mind y'all I have not been sleeping with my wig tied up or nothing like it's not giving that I'm a low maintenance girl I'm a low maintenance girl So this probably is not gonna be the best option for me either, but you know, we're just trial and error, trial and error. I should have got my blow dryer out, but is it really necessary? I don't think so. This stuff sticks pretty fast and it's not really, it's not really in too bad shape. I'm gonna wrap it while I finish getting ready with my little elastic band, but yeah, I'm not really a frontal gal. I'm more of a, if I'm gonna have a wig, I'm more of like a closure, like easy maintenance. Don't have, don't have to worry about it as much. I'm probably gonna dye this like platinum blonde or something. Cause like, I don't know how often like I would wear this again, but the wig was expensive. So I feel like I, I think I'm gonna do it like 613, like have it bleached. That way I can like play around with it if I want to do like a color or like go real, real blonde or you know, just anything, you know. Elastic band going on around the edges. Now that that's done, I'm gonna wash my face. Y'all are just doing getting a whole, the whole get ready with me vibes. Actually, let's brush our teeth first because I forgot to do that last night. Like not brush my teeth, but <laughs> do my skincare after I brush my teeth. My morning hygiene routine is pretty simple. I'm just gonna use my toothbrush, some toothpaste. I do my more intense hygiene routine at night, but brush my teeth and we're gonna do a little mouthwash. This is the best mouthwash if you really wanna eliminate any odor that you have in your mouth or if you have bad breath, whatever. It tastes disgusting though. I will turn it up. Tongue scraper. I'll use my tongue scraper in the morning if I wake up and I feel my breath was just real crusty or if I ate again before I went to sleep, which I do often, so. Okay. I'm still sipping on my water. All right, now we can wash our face. I've been loving the Tatcha lately. Honestly, I was thinking it was a little bit overhyped. I didn't really know how I was going to feel about it, but I decided to purchase it anyways because I have heard so many good things about it, but I just feel like cleansers, I don't know, I don't know. I believe y'all when y'all said that the, what is it, what brand is that? Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. Mm, I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that, so I had trust issues, okay? But I actually really do like this Tatcha cleanser, so I'm going to use... A little bit. Let's wash this face. I be feeling like an SD when I do my skincare. I like warm it up in my hands and then apply it on my face. Just really romanticizing the little things, you know? I enjoy 
getting facials and things like that. And so I've learned in like my daily routines to really like, I don't know, take my time to enjoy those things at home, doing them with myself. So I haven't actually got a facial in a long time. I'm thinking about scheduling one here soon. The next step in my skincare routine in the morning is this um, clindamycin, which is prescribed to me, but it's basically just supposed to help with like um, bacterial acne and like clogged comedones, clogged pores. I'm gonna apply this all over, and let it dry down. And then I'm going to go in with vitamin C serum. This one is from the brand Goodall. I've been trying it out, trying out new vitamin C serums because, like, I don't know, my skin used to love vitamin C serum and then it kind of just started, like, hating it. But vitamin C serum is so good for your skin. And I'm like, I need it. I need it. And this one is supposed to be really good for, like, sensitive skin because it's made with, like, real fruit extracts. I've been trying this out, so I'll keep y'all posted. This feels really good on my skin though. I like this one because it's like a jelly kind of texture or consistency. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer from Sung Jung. It's a Korean skincare brand. And I'm loving it. Make sure my skin's super moisturized. And now we're gonna go in with the tinted sunscreen from Ilia. And then I'm probably also gonna conceal these a little bit. I always just put it on the back of my hand and then listen y'all for a girl who doesn't do a lot to get ready I still be taking a low key a long time to get ready. It's 10 30 and I'm sitting here like okay I need to be ready in the next hour. I feel like I'm almost done but in the Ilia thing I'm in the shade 11. I did get color matched at Sephora and I was in between 11 and 12. I ended up getting 12 but I actually like the 11 for my skin right now better. Okay, we we'll use that as my base. It's giving skin. It just like is like a sheer skin tint sunscreen SPF. I don't know. It's SPF um, 40. And then I like that it kind of like tones down the redness in my face. So yeah, I think I can take this off. It's hurting my head. For my lips, I'm gonna go in with this Lawless. I'm gonna forget the filter, forget the filler. Lip plump. I usually use this at night too, but I think it's better than Laneige. I love Laneige still, but this gives you like a little bit of a plump, plumping effect. I love when my lips look super plump, y'all. I'm not gonna cap to you. Let's finish the face. My dirty, dirty makeup bag from Marette. Oh, I need to go downstairs and get the stuff that I got yesterday in the mail. The little eyebrow gels and whatnot. But let's do concealer really fast first. Where is my green concealer? The girl said the green works for the little red marks. So that's what I'm going to put on my marks. This one's like a scab now, so it's probably going to get all crusty. But what else? Look how cute this is. It's so tiny. I'm just gonna get it a little bit wet. Why are you supposed to wet your beauty blender? Can anybody tell me? Because I honestly have no idea why I'm supposed to do that. But here I am, because that's what the girls be doing. Okay. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Look how it covered that up. Oh yeah, we love the green. This is the concealer that I use. I have like the little mini one because this is the only one that I ever match or get in the right shade. I have two other ones, but for some reason I always buy the wrong one on accident. And then I only have a little one of this, but this is the medium um, golden tan and it's the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I still need to go to Sephora and get like color matched for some things. I also want to go to Sephora and get a lip perk. I feel like that just took off all the green. Maybe I should have let it sit longer. It definitely looks a lot better though, I will say that. Okay, look at me! That's mascara, we don't need that. I'm gonna recoat this. Okay. Let it dry down a little bit. Okay, look at me covering up a blemish. Who would have thought? 
All right, I'm back. I ran downstairs really fast so I could get the little clear brow gel. I don't really know if I want to do like the tinted one. I need my eyebrows retattooed so bad. And I've been so indecisive about it. And then my brow girl ended up canceling on me this week after I finally decided like, okay, I'm just going to do it. So I was like, I don't know, should I take that as a sign to like not get them tattooed back on? Because I really want to change the shape of them. So I don't know if I really need to like do laser like removal, like tattoo removal first and then go get them redone. But that would be an atrocious process. Because when I tell y'all I don't have a lick of eyebrows, it's disgusting. Like, <laughs> uh, yikes. Yeah. When I look back at pictures before I got my eyebrows done, I was like, what is that? What is that creature with no eyebrows? It was horrid. But I like my eyebrows. Just when she did them, she did them kind of following the natural shape of my eyebrows, but I want them to be more symmetrical and like twins, not sisters. Like, I don't care. I know they're not supposed to be an exact match, but no. Nah. I want symmetry on my face, so. I was gonna ask her about it when I went to get my touch up, but unfortunately she had somebody in her family pass away and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, girl. So wasn't able to get them done this week, but that's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of the tinted in the front. They're so faded. Like they might still look like, obviously they still look like they're done, but the tattoo is starting to look like tattoo. You know when tattoo fades and it gets like gray? If you look up close, that's kind of what they look like, so. We definitely don't want that, honey. I'm gonna brush these eyelashes out. I really wanna get into blush because I feel like even if I can like get my skin clear and do like no makeup makeup with like my tinted sunscreen, if I had like a little bit of blush to like brighten my face up. But I'm scared and today's not the day because I gotta go and I'll have to take everything off if I put blush on and it looks a hot mess. So we're not gonna do that. We can do a little bit of highlight though. I think I want to look into like getting a, a more of a creamy highlight though. But this is the Fenty highlighter in the color Champagne Heist. And I usually just highlight like the normal places. My nose. I like the tip of my nose because that's what I've been seeing people do. Like up here on my cheeks. I feel like it's hard to blend this highlighter out though. I don't know, maybe it's just me because I don't know what I'm doing, but I want kind of like maybe like a creamier highlight or something that's a little bit easier. Okay, let's get into this hair. I accidentally, that's why I hate when that happens, when the hair slips and now this hair is like glued to my forehead and nobody wants that. I don't know what to do with this hair, honestly. It's cut into layers. This is my first time brushing it this morning, so. <laughs> ah! I definitely should have slept with my bonnet on last night. Oopsie. Maybe I should straighten it. I haven't worn my hair straight or like a straight hairstyle in a while. I've just been doing like a lot of like loose curls or like a body wave look. Should I straighten it or should I just leave it kind of like in this natural state that it's got going on? Whew. I don't know. All right, I'm going to take some of this uh, ashwagandha maca frenigreek, which I was telling you guys about because it's like all in one. So today will be my first day starting taking it. Uh, let's see, do you need to take two? Yeah, you need to take two. I'm just curious to see if it will still have the same potency and effect as like if you take fenugreek on its own. It smells like it does because it smells like maple syrup, which is what fenugreek makes you smell like. That was a little harder to swallow than I thought. Yeah, this has everything in it. So now I don't have to take like ashwagandha separately or fenugreek or maca or anything. Like, I like that it just, it's an all-in-one type of deal. I'll keep y'all updated on it. So I think I'm just going to stick with like a sheer gloss. So let's go pack the purse and respray ourselves just to like freshen up a little bit. I don't know what jacket I'm gonna wear though. I have this long jacket that I like take off <sighs> that I can wear because it is chilly outside. Or I can wear my black puffer jacket. I need to bring my mirror back in here. BRB, let me go grab it. It's in Aaron's closet. I don't know what this, I don't, I don't know. I like this coat in the wintertime because it's just like cute and like 
comfy to throw on, but it's giving winter vibes. And it's not that cold outside, it's just like a little chilly. I wish I had just like the gray Skims zip up jacket that matched this color, because I don't know what happened to it. I used to have it and then I think I lost it in the move. Because I really just want to have like a little zip up hoodie. Like I don't really want to wear a coat or a puffer, but. My man's gonna look at me retarded if I try to go out the house without a jacket on and he's not gonna let me. Now, what's that saying that they say? Hoes don't get cold. I don't know where any of my hoodies are. I could really just wear my gray Nike hoodie, but I don't know where it is, if it's in the laundry or what. I'm gonna put on my skim socks. Why do I have only one of each color? I'm gonna put these socks on. Oh, what are we gonna do? Change purses. Ugh. We'll have to change purses downstairs because I think my my purse that I've been carrying is down there. I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna spray my hair with this because this is a hairspray mist as well. Yeah, hair and body mist fragrance. We definitely want to have the hair smelling good. Especially if we're not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to mist over myself again one more time. Going with the Scarlet Poppy again. And then... It's 11 o'clock, so we're going to probably leave soon. He's going to come home and change clothes. Because he low-key forgot we were going to the movies today. I was like, uh... Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Okay, I think I'm gonna put on just a little bit of jewelry just to like make myself look more put together. I'm gonna put on my JBW watch. Yes, the construction in the background is disgusting. I apologize. I don't have a lot of silver jewelry and I didn't want to wear gold with gray because I feel like that's just not the vibe. But I'm also gonna put on this um, Gucci necklace that I've had for like forever. We got a little spazazz going on. It's better than nothing, I feel like. Okay, I think I decided on this jacket because I'm. Anyways, I really don't care. I'd be trying to care for y'all, but I genuinely don't care. But we're gonna switch from the diaper bag to our purse. So I already have some stuff in my purse. I always keep these in my purses, they're little booty wipes, little travel wipes, so after I use the bathroom, I can use wipes. I think I'm going to take my pink Laneige lip gloss instead of Summer Fridays today. And then I'm going to take a hair clip just in case. I love these ones from Amazon with the pearls. I think they're so cute. Got a little bit of cash in here. I have the travel size Scarlet Poppy, so of course I'm going to take that. I'll usually like spray myself right before I get out of the car, you know, so I just go in smelling. Nice and fresh, my wallet, um, I have like 40 bucks. And hand sanitizer that I've been carrying as of late is this one. I don't think this one has a scent. Oh, it's rainwater, I lied. But anyways, it actually smells really good. And then I have some Altoids. I've been doing mint over gum lately, so put that in there. I have some sunglasses in there. I don't know if I'm gonna actually wear. I need to go sunglass shopping before my trip. So we'll probably go to Neiman sometime this week or next week. Should we put them on top of our head? I always feel like sunglasses on top of your head is just like a vibe. I don't know. Keys. I need to check the mail low key. We got like 20 minutes before we need to leave, so he should be here shortly. And then I'll come back and get y'all whenever we get to the movies. Give me this shit coming in. I told the bitch, hold up, hold up, stop it, stop it. Sock it to a nigga pocket, off the whole money. You know that's for show money. I'm still the street, nigga, cover both. I'm trying to put it in a nigga in my hand. I can't move off a bitch. Take turns being wrong. I get real accountable when I'm alone. I get real about it all. 
When I'm alone, it's so crazy missing you when I get old. Now, Julio make me fool for you. Now, I might hit your phone up with that ba ba ba. He's in my da da da. He's in that ah ah. All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these bitches ain't cousin. No shit. Yeah, toxic. All the sex on replay, running back like a DJ. Put on your face while you eat that. Trying to make a bad bitch behave. I would just wait for you. I just would see a way for you. It's later, and we're back home. Everybody just took their baths, and we're getting ready to eat our macaroni and cheese for dinner <laughs> and then that's probably it for the rest of the night i need to stay up and edit some this today because i set my alarm and aaron turned it off again he does not want me to be great he does not want me to be great he, he's <laughs> he is going to be the epitome of my downfall because he's just always letting me sleep in we started off the day strong no they're fighting over who can sit in what chair so <laughs> we're probably just gonna eat and then get ready to go to bed it's almost five o'clock so we're just gonna Round it up. I picked them up real early from school because we got out of the movies at like two. So yeah, the movie was really, 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 really good. The food was okay. The it was better than last time. Keep our hands to ourselves. That's it. I don't want to hear anything else about it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Come say good morning, y'all. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Okay. This is how we're gonna pick breakfast. Okay. You're gonna pick a card. Okay, who wants to pick the first card? Me, 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 me. Do rock, paper, scissors. Me, me, rock, paper, scissors. Do rock, paper, scissors with your brother. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, Carter won because he had rock. Okay, pick a card. Starbucks! You can do the next one, okay? Good morning. We're doing the card challenge, if you guys can't tell, but it's Friday. My voice is a little bit gone because I've been sick for the past two days. Um, but we just dropped the baby off at school, and now we're doing the card challenge with the boys. So we're going to do some fun activities. So our first stop of the day was either donuts or Starbucks, and they got the Starbucks card. Thank God. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right. First stop, Starbucks. Okay, pick one. Are we going to the mall? Yeah. You ready? Cheers. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you make us nice again and I hope you let us do everything else. All right, so second stop is the mall. I was hoping we were gonna get Target because I don't know how I feel about the mall. I don't think the mall is open yet because it's nine o'clock. We might have no choice but to go to Target. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think they open till 10. Yeah, they don't. It's only nine, so Target we go. I think that'll be a little bit less intimidating. Anyways, if we have time, we could probably still swing by there. I did want to like take them to Zara to pick out some new outfits or something. Because the Nike store in the mall still hasn't opened yet. And we go on our trip next week, so we still need to go clothes shopping. So let's go. Next stop, Target. Tell me and I'm on the way. Okay. Come on. Put it in the cart. What? Put it in the cart. Let's go this way to the back. To the back? To the back. And we need to get back? some swimsuits for our trip. Okay, too excited. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. This is a good game to play at home with like adults. So we just got some toys. Rex Let's go can see move if we out. can find some swim trunks. You think they have swim stuff out? Maybe. Yeah, we should get them. 
me see. I don't know if these are going to fit you or not. Look, they have all these water t-shirts. And then they have these terry cloth shorts. How hey, Mom! Cute. Oh, they have a whole bunch. Look. Perfect. No. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's right here. Do y'all want to be dinosaurs or... I don't want to be dinosaurs. Just get these on, like... Judabug. Carter, I mean Carson, do not walk Should away. Should we just get these on? Yeah. Y'all know the platform jelly Gucci sandals I have? They have them at Target. I mean, they don't have the logo, obviously, but this is it. Like, this is it. They have them in pink, too. And I've been thinking about getting the Gucci's in pink. These are the Yeezy dupes. The Yeezy dupes. These are actually in my size, and they're pink. It's the Wild Fable brand. Mom, why do I think I'm going to get them. No, they look too narrow. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. I don't need any. Come on. Should we get this beach basket? Yeah. It's a cute basket, right? Uh -huh. Hey, Mom, they, they have extra blankets. I think I like this. Some extra blankets? We can never have enough blankets, I'll tell you that much. Get some candy. Salt and Patch Kids. Cool. Gummy Bears. These. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mom, I can get money and I can't buy anything? Yeah. So daddy. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Huh? <laughs> Anyways. Um, what's up? We're gonna leave out of Target. Why are you funny was gonna give us stories? Mom. It's your turn. Pick, pick a card. Ice cream. We're going to get ice cream. <laughs> All right, ice cream is the next stop. We're here. I don't know if they're open yet, but we're going to go see. They're definitely not open. Okay. It's okay. We got a plan B. There's another place right around the corner, so that's where we're about to go. Little ahead. But we might have to go after the movies. Yeah, they're closed too. Okay, yeah. Ice cream is not an option at 10.30 in the morning. Let's go take our toys home, and then we'll get um, ice cream after we leave the movies. All right, here, Carson. You can pick the last two cards. Okay. Here, let me come back. Movies! All right, we're home. We're gonna do a little Target haul. They're gonna open their toys up and play for about 30 minutes before we leave. Um, no ice cream shops was open this early in the morning, so we'll have to go after the movies, so. Okay, bring me y'all's toys. This one. This is the second guy. All right, so that is our little mini index card game. Um, I ended up getting this beach basket because I thought it was real cute. I've been looking for a beach basket and I didn't know if I was going to do like, um, I don't know. I was thinking about getting like a designer beach bag, but then I was like, be FFR. Like, it'll be ruined. It'll be ruined. I might get it for like my DR trip, but not for, not for Florida. So <clears throat> this is so cute. I thought this was real cute because it's like neutral aesthetics. So they didn't have a lot of swimsuits in Carson size. Um, but they did have this same swimsuit in all of the boys' sizes. So I went ahead and got them all that matching swimsuit. And then I heard Old Navy got the hits. So we're probably going to go to Old Navy next week and finish shopping. But Carter also wanted the little white sports tee. This is like water material. And then these smiley face swim shorts. I got these little cute hats. They're like little sun hats. I like these because I feel like they fit the shape of my head better than like regular sun hats. I obviously have to put it on the right way, but I got a tan one and I got a white one. I got some random things while we were there that we needed for around the house. This Clorox disinfecting mist. Oh, baby. I got some new scents. Well, actually, I don't know if they're new or not, but I haven't shopped EOS in a while. And I actually like EOS and the way their stuff smells, but we're running low 
on lotion for the kids and um, Aaron. So I got two EOS lotions. This one is the Fresh and Cozy, and it smells exactly what it says. It's fresh and cozy. And then this one is in the coconut water scent. This one smells just like tropical, not even tropical. It just smells like, it smells like coconut and water. Like it just smells real good. So got those. Gonna try to keep everything semi-organized. Put everything back where it belongs. And then I got sequence, which Aaron's cousins, one of his cousins put us onto this game. We like, they brought it over and we were playing it for like a game night at the house. And it's actually like a really cool game. Um, it's like, it's like you have to actually like be using your brain. Like I don't, <laughs> anyways, it's a fun game. And I got it so that me and Aaron can play the house together. Kids got a couple more toys. Uh, they also got some Play-Doh. And then I got milk for the baby. What else? Oh, we got some snacks for the movies. We taking our own snacks to the movies. Yes, we are. Okay, thank you. We can get popcorn and stuff there, but I got those for Aaron. And then I let the kids pick the candy. Because the movie theaters that we go to, like, you, well, I guess you can order it at the concession stand, but it's kind of like, it's like a fancy studio movie girl. So you like press the button and then they bring you out your stuff. So um, we're taking candy. They'll get the rest of the stuff at the movie. We got some paper towel, paper towels, paper plates, and then plastic forks. I was out of bar soap, so I ended up getting both of these Dr. Bronner soap. This is the peppermint, this is the unscented one. And then I needed another scrub daddy, some more mini scrub daddies. That's everything. I mean, for the amount of money we just spent, you would think it was a lot of money. Yeah, it's Friday morning. This morning, we kind of just jumped straight into everything, but I've been sick for the past two days, if y'all can't tell by my voice. It's kind of like a sore throat and a cough. I think the kids brought something home from school, and so this is where we're at. I'm feeling a little bit better today. I was feeling better yesterday, but I just spent the whole day like cleaning up the house, trying to get the sickness out of the house. But the baby's at school. We dropped him off this morning so that we could just have the boys, the big boys, and like enjoy the movies because... Mello does not do good at the movies, which is interesting because he's the only baby that is really, like doesn't do very well at the movies. Because Carter and Carson, we used to take them to the movies all the time, like when Aaron and I wanted to go see movies. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs. We're gonna, gonna try to lay down my hair for a little bit. We got like 20 minutes before we need to leave. The lace is lacing today. Like, yeah, I've been rough on this wig for the whole week that I've had it installed. And I didn't really plan on keeping it that long. I'm probably gonna take it down tonight or tomorrow morning, so yeah. It's really this part. I don't know why it looks like that because it looks real bad right over here. I don't know, it's just this side, like this side. Like this side is still pretty much fine, but this is the side that came up that I had to re-glue and clearly I wasn't good at that, so let's go upstairs. Oh, I also got this blanket from, what is this brand called? Casaluna? I don't know. I was like, I can't go wrong with the fluffy blanket. I really wanted to get some more stuff, but I didn't have time. I'm gonna straighten a couple more of these pieces out. I don't even know if I'm really gonna mess with it. I really don't even care, to be honest. Like, I'm not going nowhere but to the movies. We're gonna be in the dark anyway, so don't even worry about it, sweetheart. Just trying to make myself look halfway presentable. The movies is all we're doing for the rest of the day. I'm like, out of breath, because I'm all congested and been sick, and I'm just like, I don't think I have COVID though. I've had COVID a couple times before and this definitely doesn't seem like COVID. It just seems like, I don't know, some type of like cold. But I'm gonna spray my face with this cause I've been having a little bit of breakouts cause while I was sick, I literally did not get out of bed. Like I've been in the bed dying. <laughs> not literally, but on Wednesday I didn't get out of bed. I didn't wash my face and now I have like three breakouts on my forehead. And I like this stuff cause it's a, antimicrobial facial cleanser and i feel like it really 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 helps with my breakouts like especially when i use it at night like they were way more like i don't know they kind of like went down but they were like active breakouts yesterday and then i used this with my retinol last night and my face looks much better so i also have some concealer on and stuff which i'm about to re touch up listen that green concealer if you're like me you never knew about green concealer and like fixing up your, uh, covering up your red blemishes. Oh yeah, that's what's tea, baby. Get that green concealer, okay? <clears throat> My hair doesn't wanna lay flat. 
because it's a middle part and I'm trying to make it be a side part. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna like tuck it behind my ear. Kind of go with that type of look. I should plug my hot comb in, but ain't nobody got time for that. We're getting braids next week for a vacation anyway, so we're just gonna let the hair breathe. I'm excited to go see this movie though. We're going to see Shazam. And it's actually like a really good movie. Like if you're not into Marvel movies, cause like, I don't know, like you don't have kids yet or you have girls or something, I'm telling you. Well, I don't even know if Shazam is technically a Marvel movie or not. I don't think that it is. I don't know. But anyways, I used to think people who would like watch Marvel movies and like Star Wars, I'm not really into Star Wars, but I used to think those like that was like so like weird or like nerdy, but the movies are actually so good especially because they have so much budget for the movies because they're so popular like you've never seen a movie that's that good like quality and just animation until you watched a marvel movie okay and shazam is no different it is so good we watched the first one last night on hbo max just to like refresh our memory for today and it's so good so i'm like really excited to see i have to touch up my concealer really fast this is what i'm gonna use i think i showed y'all earlier in the week what i use but i'm just gonna go in with my green concealer and then my regular colored concealer over top can i tell y'all something i think i'm about to get on adderall y'all and before anybody says no just hear me out i think it'll make me function a lot better like as far as my, I just think I'm gonna get on Adderall. That's the moral of the story. So when you guys see me very calm, chill, mellow, focused, just know it's gonna be Adderall, baby. Cause I can't do caffeine. Like caffeine kind of gives me the same type of thing, but I just don't like drinking a lot of like caffeinated drinks, if that makes sense. Lend the cream down. I need to give the kids their gummies. I got them some new multivitamins and immune support gummies because everybody's just been so sick lately. I'm definitely not regretting daycare and I'm fine with, oh, this is the wrong shape. Yikes. I'm fine with Carter being in school because Carter and Carson, because they need to acclimate their immune system anyways before they start actual school in August. But the baby, I'm thinking about taking the baby out of daycare because he loves it. Don't get me wrong. And he loves his teacher. It's so cute. Um, she's so sweet. Um, so I love that for him and for her. Well, for him and her, but for him and me, I guess. But I feel like every week it's a new email like, oh, pink eye, flu. Hand foot mouth. No, I don't think we've had hand foot mouth yet, but. Do you get what I'm saying? And I'm just like, ugh. Damn city! What? What was you gonna say? I was gonna smile. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna wanna see this. Which brings us to our first.